All right, people, welcome back to the series that everyone hates. <laughs> We're joined by Omega Chaos. Hi, Omega Chaos here again. So, hope f oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 All right, here comes the dislikes. <laughs> yeah. It's fine, whatever, I don't even care. And no, the performance pendulum attack pretty much the two best decks in the, in the GG current plan. Yep. And I said, I would like to know why you got to dislike in it, but if you guys don't want to tell me, fine, whatever. It's views that count on dislike, so I, I really don't care. You know, I like this yeah. series. I think it's fun. So, we have Beatrice Angel at 786, and Riddy at 1201. Alright, so just set your Pendulum Scales and Pendulum Summon. Then, uh, I guess, go ahead and, uh, what, go into King of the Feral Limbs and get a plus, because why not? I want to make a synchro with Mask Million. Oh yeah, you can do that too. Uh, what, Synchro Summon into your Dragon, whatever? Your, what? No, not Luster, the other one. What's the Synchro Monster called? Uh, Ignister Prominence. Yeah, Ignister. So is that who you're gonna go into? Yeah, that card is so good. What's up with Mirror Conductor? <laughs> like, I've been seeing a lot of him, like, what makes him so it, good? The uh, switch is Attack and Defense. Yeah, pretty much, both that effects. is good? Yeah, it is pretty good in some situations, and it combos with Dragon like, Zero as well. Because I've been seeing people run like triple of him in the deck, and I'm just like, wait, he's no freaking plus. Like, what makes him good? Do, do you like plus off of him or anything? Or it's just like, and yeah. because it's uh, just a performance pendulum monster and a low scale. Okay. Yep. Oh, wait, are you not? Oh. Yeah, it goes <laughs> back to the exodus, of course. Yeah. yeah. A pendulum synchro summon that's never been done before in the anime. No. <laughs> <laughs> <All of us. laughs> that card, of course. It's oh, okay. Why one not? of the best level 8 synchros, which yeah. I can't afford, of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a nice chunk of expensive cards being played right now. Yep. Our attack decoration, help out the way, and there we go, Forerunner. You gonna crash or you just gonna leave it alone? Nope, they're gonna leave it alone, alright. No, he has a normal summon, so that's yep. that singular mathematician. Yeah, that one. At least it's now only three dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so mathematician's gonna go ahead and send damage dugger, damage dugger banish to uh, grab plush. Alright, Beatrice. What are you gonna do? And then go ahead and, and put it just back. put that back low. Yeah, wow. And put it back and get more signatures next turn. Yep. In the right hands, I definitely see Omega just being so good. <laughs> so this deck, Infernoids, what other? There's another deck. Well, besides its own deck, of course. And zombies as well, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, zombies. I've been seeing that a lot of that as well. Just put that Mizuki back. Alright, he's gonna go in the battle phase. And the whole banish from, yeah. Yeah, at the end of your main phase, go ahead and banish to pick something out. The problem with Cosmo is that it's a very linear attack. It really can't do much. Yeah, there's no extreme plays that will step out of the norm for this deck. Um, I don't know, this should be interesting to see who wins, but I'm probably gonna have to give it to the Pepe, just because it's way more flexible. Yeah, despite it not being at full power yet. Yep. Go ahead and pick that uh, 4, draw a card off the Mathematician, pick that 28. I mean, Prominence would be pretty good right now. Let's go ahead and get rid of that uh, 4 runner and handle that... Uh... Oh, Wicked Witch is pretty good too. I mean, a 19 beater that you know can't be destroyed by battle by card effects. I mean, yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty much stops you from uh, getting completely wrecked. She kind of like all in replaced um, Good Witch, didn't she? Like, Good Witch has played at like what, maybe like one or two, if that. Yeah, mostly at one, if any. All right, I guess an insta fusion. Of course, summon broke Norden. Why yep. not? Still legal. Yep. Insta fusion at three, Norden at three. I thought they were at least gonna, you know, be like, all right, we made our money. Let's go ahead and put at least one of them down to one. But nope. <sighs> Damn you, Konami. 
at this point, I'm not sure if Konami will even hit it because it hasn't, hasn't been doing that much in the TCG at least. Get out of here, Wicked Witch. I'm assuming that maybe he can handle the foreigner by himself. <laughs> Got another tuna monster. He's gonna go for another. You gonna go for promise this time? Yep. Your sorry search. Oh my God, you're so good. And then freaking uh, that one mage. That pen what's his name? Uh. The one that destroys a pendulum scale and. This card's destroy pendulum scale and draw card. I forgot his name. I think it's a performer fall. No, he's not a performer. Oh. He's like eighteen hundred. Once per turn, you could discard a card, destroy a pendulum, and then draw a card. Ah, uh, it's a Doomstar magician. Yeah, Doomstar. He's going up in popularity. Yeah. And I reviewed it him. Used just... to be a completely useless card. <laughs> yeah, I'm just when I reviewed him, it was back when only Cleaves were popular. It's the pendulum deck, and it's just like, wait, he's too slow. I'd rather start to play Misty and Twister, but now when you can go ahead and benefit off of destroying your own scales, ah, uh, with that one card right there on the field, I really wish they would have limited that card. You mean the wavering guys? Yes, <laughs> that would have handled freaking uh, Tower Turbo and dealt with what's going on now. You could have killed two birds with one stone. Instead, you just murdered Cleese and then continue with Wavering Eyes being dumb. Yep, so he's just plussing out the butt. Yep, that Mega Juggler combo is just going off. Just gonna keep on recycling that Juggler and keep on getting them searches. Well, here comes the level 8 synchro now. Yep, cause... Just bounces that 4 and then it's pretty much game over. Yep, because Luster just happened to be so good and a tuner, because why not? Let's make him a pendulum tuner effect. Monster. Yeah, pendulum tuner, yeah, completely insane. <laughs> <laughs> yep, let's go ahead and pop. Yeah, let's try the plus fire again and get another special summon. Mm hmm. Like, look at this, people. And this isn't even, this deck's not even at full power, and it's already disgusting. I definitely have to give this deck uh, the top tier deck. Importer. Yeah, it's probably the, the best deck already. Yeah. Probably have to say this is number one, then I'd probably have to say Cosmos, then Magic Specters. Just because of the whole, you know, you can't target me, so I'm just going to mess with you. Alright. We'll be back for game two. Alright. So, what would you rank it out of Magic Specters, Cosmos, and Pepe? Well, Performance Pendulum is the best, then Cosmo second, then Magic Specter third. Yeah. I wish I wish Magic Specters would put put a little bit more hate into it. Like, they're just too easy to handle if they don't have the hate. Like, the Magician Engine will help quite a lot. Oh, yeah. You know, go ahead and put in some, uh, you know, rivalries against Cosmos, and, you know, they're just like, oh, yeah, you can't target me, and I'm just gonna summon a monster that's stronger than you. Play Moon Mirror Shield, play Mage Power, do something. You already can't be just. Uh, target or destroy it, so just turn into a beater and that's all you gotta do. <laughs> I think that's actually pretty good. Like, Cosmo Monster with Moon Mia Shield? Like, oh my god. <laughs> it will be interesting to see if that uh, Pure Magician deck will do well as well. Yep. <laughs> it just had to be like it's this card on the field. <laughs> Yeah, really broken card. It mm -hmm. definitely should go to one. Mm hmm. And that definitely made a design mistake. Yeah, it no, should it have been once per turn at least. <laughs> it does feel like a design mistake. Wow. Yeah, you. You opened up pretty bad unless you had something to tag out to. Because I don't yep. know what's with all that background. <laughs> Wow, Go Denko I mean. Rekka. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ouch, yeah, that, that hurts. That definitely hurts. <laughs> I think this duel might be over. I think we might have to get another duel in, because I think this might be it. <laughs> yeah, very likely. Like, wow. What are you thinking about tagging out? Going into... Oh, just gonna tell the max he him. Who's busting in my house? Oh, it's Rennie. Everybody say hi, Rennie. What? Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> oh. What's up, everybody? 
<laughs> See, I came back from school doing shit. What have you been doing, Daniel? Uh, I was fixing my car, and then, and then Leo turn, told me to turn my car on, so I did, and then the door closed, and then it locked, and then I locked my keys in my car. <laughs> so your keys are still in the car? No, we had to go down to mom's job and get her keys. You're fucking stupid. <laughs> Shut up. You're fucking stupid. Wow, so, um, yeah, Beatrice, I think, <laughs> with no one to tag out to, I mean, Riddy, are you going to take the maxi challenge? You at least got to be able to handle that, uh. Wicked Witch. Oh, wait. Oh, man, its effect. A standalone effect makes it actually a lot better than a majority of the monsters for defensive purposes, so. Maybe, if it's possible, go into. I have no idea. If you can Pender Summon one monster, you can go into Castell, spin her back, and then you don't have to wait yeah, for her exactly. anymore. Yeah, so. so. That'd be And Thorny has one. two Pendulum Index like. Mm hmm. Including plus fire. Hmm. Do they play a lot of uh, that one? They only play like one. To search it with uh, Kingdom of Realms. Yeah. Conductor, because why the hell not? Even though I know you're not going to attack into it. <laughs> I wonder if Beatrice got lucky and actually top decked into a into a possible uh, summon. Maybe a forerunner, maybe anything really, anything that's level five or higher would be good because she about to get wrecked. <laughs> Cast yep. out, draw another card. Target response. You got it. Banish summon? Or... Yeah, chain or not. There is no thinking. You can chain. <laughs> if you have it, do it. <laughs> wow. And nothing. Ouch. <laughs> that hurts. On two cards, I thought you would hopefully be able to draw into one of them. At least it's wow, not. Wow, and you're actually gonna take the rest of the Oh, are you gonna just go for uh, trapeze? Yeah, well, trapeze might finish it actually. So, trapeze attack twice, it's 5,000. No, actually, trapeze has to target another monster. Not oh, itself. it has to be another monster, can be itself? Yep. Okay, well, 4,000, 65. Is that 70, 83? Yeah, it's game over. First game. First game, it's 83. Wow. <laughs> yeah, all the cape of times. Mm-hmm. K-O. Uh, oh, get another duel, I guess. And beer back. All right, let's go ahead and pack a single on, and then we'll go ahead and call it. So we got Noob Sauce G7 here, only 368, but he's got the experience, so he's getting his written up. And I'm Matt 808. I'm uh, Matt. <laughs> 1180. Uh, I wonder if he has anything to do with uh, IDO 808. Oh, Shameless plug. <laughs> uh, this video is sponsored. Wow. <laughs> not that performance, depend on that. Yeah. Why not? Yep, wavering eyes. Lol. Really? I guess it's a mirror match then. Okay, I guess it's a mirror match. <laughs> And Pepe. time I saw her negate it, yeah, Pepe versus right. Pepe. So, Who came up with that stupid ass name? Uh, short <laughs> yeah, for kinda... what? Perform age. Yeah, I know what it's short for. I actually came up with that dumb ass name. I don't know. It sounds dumb to me. It is fucking dumb. Can anybody come up with a better name? Put it in the comments, because Pepe, that's not like some uh, oval rate Iranian dude. So, if you block the damage of Wavering Eyes, the rest of it doesn't resolve? Yeah, it doesn't. Wow, that's actually really good. So for, for having to be the mirror match actually uh, results in something pretty interesting. But I'm actually going to go down the list with the effects. Because it's going to say I can make the effects in order depending on the, um, the pendulum scale you destroy. Uh, 
I mean, it seems like it. That's what it says, isn't it? Destroy as many cards in each player's pendulum zone as possible and apply these effects in sequence depending on them. Okay, there it is. There it is. The sequence. There it is. So if you stop one, they can't keep going. Yep, yep there it is. In sequence. Uh, so, uh, Matt, you're in trouble. Ubisoft has five cards. You have no background, no nothing. Like, if he has his Wavering Eyes, he can easily wreck you. As we know, Wavering Eyes in the Mirror Match, or a Pendulum-based deck, is just destruction. Yeah, that absolutely seems like a very desperate play, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and Foolish the Trick Clown, take Thousand Summon it back. Kobe will Lord Wonder, Wonder one. one, seriously. Wow, Wonder One. Okay. That seems like a really desperate play to me. Oh, Instafusion Norden. Go ahead and hit that reset button on Trick Clown, because why not? Why so? Sometimes I wonder. About what? About Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> what about Yu-Gi-Oh? That's a broad <laughs> subject, motherfucker. Every single time we <laughs> turn around, it's just something more and more broken. Oh, you know why? Because Konami loves money. That's why. Can't they make money without doing something extremely broken? <laughs> You're funny. I don't like you. <laughs> yeah. I would say that they can't. <laughs> because, uh... If they make some balanced set and the set doesn't sell that well, then they lose money. Yeah, that time. is true. I know they have a set that has either a balanced deck or just something that's not really worth the want. The set doesn't sell as well. Damn, Skippy. So how do you make that sell? Put broke shit in every set. <laughs> so Konami can roll to go. You ever seen them truth commercials? Come on, give me guap. Come on, come on, give me guap. That's all Konami is. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh players be like, a hundred dollars isn't much for a co for a card. Yeah, that's fine. At least it's not two hundred. Konami be like, come on, give me guap. Come on, come on, give me guap. Cash. <laughs> You're just having way too much fun. Yeah, honestly. Better <laughs> Konami doesn't control the second time market prices. Damn. What? Damn. He just scooped. It was over. Matt just scooped. Wow. And Noob Sauce, despite having the lower rating, came back and just beat that Matt A O A. Wow. That was a quick one. Waving out for the win. No. Oh. The blocking his uh his wave eyes with damage juggling and just being able to go off during his turn. Mm -hmm. So yeah. <laughs> Alright people. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thank you Omega for joining me. No problem. Glad to join us join as always. And I guess thank you, Renny, for joining me. I don't even know why he's here. You're welcome. <laughs> <Bitch>. yes. <laughs> So uh, hopefully this video doesn't get a butt ton of likes and we'll be back on Thursday, which actually ironically I'm going to be joined by Rennie on Thursday anyway, so I guess you'll get more Rennie. Yep. You guys like Rennie anyway, so. So Rennie is scravaganza. So uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and yeah, see you Thursday with some more DMDO commentary. Thanks for watching.